Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I have the first of my Attention Shoppers series project today. This is a bundle from the new 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog and it's probably my favorite from this the uh, catalog. It's the first thing that I wanted to use. I absolutely love it. It's just so cute. Um, I'm using some new, other new things, a Mediterranean Blooms Designer Series paper and uh, this new wood grain specialty paper. I am going to change something. I um, in my mind for this card, I was thinking like shopping at a, a garden store. So I made the cart also the wood grain paper, but it doesn't, I don't think it pops off the card enough. So we're going to do that in silver foil, like I did the bottom of the card. So just a little tweak after I made it, I thought maybe it would be better. All right, let's start with our stamping. We are going to stamp these plants four times in memento black. And the reason I am using memento black is because I'm going to color with my Stampin' Blends. And uh, this ink is the ink you want to use when you are coloring with your alcohol markers. I'm going to try to make each one a little bit different. I'm going to use um, uh, Old Olive and Daffodil Delight. And I think we'll start basic first. We'll just do um, Old Olive Light and Old Olive Dark. And I'm just going to color those leaves in like that. And then I'll take my dark and I'm going to just add in a little flick of color of darkness down at the bottom like that. All right. All right. Now the next one, I'm going to start with, uh, let's do light, daffodil delight. And I'm going to do that on the bottom part of the leaves like that. And then I'm going to take my light and I'm going to take the brush end and I'm just going to kind of flick color from the top. So it's kind of blending in a little bit like that. All right, now we'll do the opposite. And this time I'm going to use the dark. I'm going to start from the bottom and flick. Actually, I did that last time. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll make it somewhat the same. I, I was going to do the yellow tips. You know what? Let's do it over here. We'll do yellow tips here. Well, if I can stay in the lines today, <laughs> sometimes I just can't. All right, I'm trying to rush so that you guys aren't on a video forever. I want the video to be a quick one. Okay, there we go. Let's add a little bit more color over here like that. Okay, they're all a little bit different. All right, get my lids all back on. You don't want to leave the lids off your alcohol markers for too long because they'll dry out. All right, now copper clay for these pots. And the pots are all going to be the same. I'm going to do light copper clay across the bottom. And then we'll do that band in the middle, dark copper clay. Now our Stampin' Blends have two tips. One is a bullet end and one is a brush tip end. And I, when I want to be precise, I use my bullet end. I use the brush end for flicking ink and for kind of up here how I, I, I flicked, I brushed the ink kind of into the other ink for blending. I think they work well for blending. Um, but I find that with a bullet tip end, I stay in the lines a lot better than I do with that brush end. So if you're, if you're having trouble staying in the lines, try the other end of your marker, it might help. All right, I'm gonna run these through and then we will put our card together. All right, while we have our cut and emboss machine over here, let's cut out our shopping cart. I have some silver foil and I'm gonna take my adhesive sheet and I'm gonna peel this back a little bit like this. These adhesive sheets come in a six by 12 pieces. I'm going to lay this down on there, there like that and lay the sticky part down. Well, I just overlapped it a little bit. There we go. Like that. Now, this is going to turn my um, or my cardstock or my foil into a sticker sheet. And that's going to make adhering it so much easier. All right. So there's your silver foil. Now with a sticker back. One thing about sticker 
the, the adhesive sheets is that you have to remember to do it before you cut it out, which sometimes <laughs> proves difficult. After you cut it out, you think, oh man, I should have done the adhesive sheet on the back of there. So try to remember with these little smaller things like this. All right, let's see, I've got my take your pick tool. We might need the piercer end, which I have over here. Nope, that's not it. Do I not have my piercer end on? Okay, I'll just flip it around and poke that out. The take your pick tool is such a necessity. <clears throat> Excuse me. I use it all the time. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is um, add some ink to our wood grain paper. This uh, wood grain paper, you can't really see probably on the video that it is. it does have a light texture on it. I'm gonna take a blending brush and my pecan pie ink, and I really don't want a whole lot of ink. I just want a little bit. So I'm gonna run it pretty good off of, onto my um, grid paper, if you will, and I'm gonna Go through like this and just, I just want it enough to where that wood grain pops out. I found the first time that I did it, I really went too dark and it was blotchy. So I think for this, you're better with less ink, okay? So there's that. Now hopefully you can see that wood grain has popped out. I'm gonna take my dark copper clay and I'm just gonna flick some some ink on there using the brush tip. All right, now I've got a piece of Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper. There will be a free PDF over on my blog that has the um, measurements on here for all of these pieces. I'm gonna cut it at an angle like that. And we're just gonna adhere it. Look how beautiful that piece on the back is. Okay, and then this is a piece of Garden Green Designer Series paper from the um, Regals Designer Series paper pack. The Regals pack has uh, four sheets of every color in the Regals family. So whenever you just need a little piece to match something, there you have it. All right, now we're gonna put twine around here and I want it to be down on the bottom. So, or cross at an angle in the bow at the bottom. So in order to achieve that, I'm gonna use some tape and I'm going to put that twine right where I want it on the back side. And then I'm just gonna use some scotch tape to tape it. And then up here, same thing. That way it's not gonna slide and be in the wrong position, you know, when I give my card to the recipient. It's gonna stay diagonal. Tie a little bow there, and then we'll snip that. This is linen thread. All right, one other thing I wanted to do to my plants, let's bring back over uh, this to a couple of them. I think I'm gonna do the ones that are more olive. I'm gonna take my old olive dark and flick some old olive dots on them, just real small like that, just to give them a little more interest. All right, now I'm gonna arrange my plants kind of in a haphazard way like that. And I'm gonna take my shopping cart, peel off that backing. And I'm gonna pick them up. Let's see, they need to be a little bit closer. Like they're in the cart like that. See that? And you can press that into that adhesive and now they are stuck. All right, I'm gonna take two dimensionals and put them right on the backs of the plants. And we're gonna put this right here. Let's look at the sample. I want the to be right kind of on the edge there, like that. And then this one, the wheels, the bottom, um, we're gonna stick this, let's do the sentiment, that way we can stick it all down together. I'm using a sentiment not from this set, I'm using a sentiment from the Country Birdhouse 
set, also another new stamp set. And we're gonna stamp our sentiment twice. We're gonna do it once in Garden Green and once in Pecan Pie. And I'm gonna do some masking because I want to stamp the words separately. So first, I'm gonna take some Post-it tape and mask off the bottom of the thing. I'm gonna get my Garden Green. Don't forget to take that part off. And I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle of this basic white stylus shape banner. And the reason I did that is because the whole thing wouldn't fit on the banner. So I had to figure out a way to get it on the banner. All right, now I'm gonna take another piece of post-it tape and I'm gonna lay that on top of there. I just ran out of post-it tape, so I'm gonna to have to make this one work. And we'll put that right there. And we're gonna cut this one out so we don't have to worry too much. All right, and we're gonna do this one in pecan pie. Don't forget to take your tape off. And let's just stamp it right here like this on the bottom. Best day ever. And then just slice it off. Like that. And I'm going to use my foam adhesive strips for this. And we'll put that across there. And a couple more dimensionals. Yeah, we're gonna lay that right there. Let's, before we really stick it down, let's make sure. I am gonna cut off these a little bit to make them a little bit shorter. And if you ever have the tr trouble getting your backing off of your piece, use your take your pick tool, it'll help. And then those fit just perfectly right between those words like that. Okay, last but not least, Let's put it here on our card base. This is a garden green card base, like that. And then we'll put just a piece of basic white on the inside, which if you want, you can stamp those plants on the inside too to carry over that design. And there we go. What do you guys think? How cute. I do think the silver looks better. It does kind of show up a little bit better. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go visit my blog. There's a free PDF and two other Attention Shoppers projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.